let's look at number six. So number six is uh, uh, <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Um, number six is about the vignettes, really. So what we're talking about here is the light levels from different fixtures and how you figure out how many lights you actually need in a space. Um, the uh, light levels in actuality, if you were doing a true sort of really accurate version, this would not be the way that you would do it. This is actually a fairly simplistic version of how to think about these things, um, but it's sort of useful and fast. And this is the one that's on the vignette, so this is the one you have to get used to, to using this sort of terminology. So, okay, using the charts on the last page, what is the spa uh, what spacing would be appropriate for fluorescent two by four fixtures for a uh, typical nine foot uh, office space to uh, where the owner desires to have 70 foot candles? So first of all, 70 foot candles these days is actually relatively high. Um, back in the old days when I was in school, uh, you often would see 100 foot candles, 80 foot candles, but now everything's so computerized that that much light actually causes uh, some glare problems. Um, but you know, you kind of get the idea. These numbers will be ranging between somewhere between 30 and 70 is probably the highest you'd really go for a typical office these days. So, okay. Uh, first question is uh, we have a nine foot ceiling. Uh, we have the two by four, we have this chart. Uh, it's asked for 70 foot candles. Uh, where is, where do we want the 70 foot candles? Think about that for a second. The answer is we want it on the work plane. Well, where's the work plane? Well, it's an office. The work plane is the desk. So if you think about it as either 30 inches or 36 inches, somewhere in that range, kind of gets you in the, right in the ballpark. So that means 30 to 36 inches off of the floor is our work plane. So if we look at the little chart off to the side, you can see that from the ceiling, we have uh, zero feet to two feet to four feet to six feet to eight feet to ten feet. Well, so our floor is right there at nine feet, but our work plane is going to be at six feet from the ceiling. So the thing we care about in this context is the work plane, so we're coming six feet down from the ceiling. We'd actually, if we're getting really technical about it, we'd actually go six foot six, probably, you'd probably use 30 inch, but you get the ideas. I'm trying to keep it simple with these charts. Um, so we're at six feet uh, off uh, off of the ceiling. And then the other thing we were looking at was the 70 foot candles. There's uh, 70, the ones that we have called out are 30, 70, and 90. So we can follow that plume of light that is shaped by this sort of uh, diagram. It's talking about sort of plume of light that comes out that within that volume, it's uh, the light is at 70 foot candles. Uh, and so we look at that 70 foot candles and where it intersects with the six feet down from the ceiling and we are two feet away from the edge of the light fixture. Hope everybody can see that two feet away from the edge of the light fixture and, uh, our, our intrepid, uh, Megan who, uh, sent in her answers, uh, you got, uh, got snookered by that one, um, because you answered two feet which is a totally reasonable, logical answer, except that you forget you now have to have the other light because you're talking about the spacing. So I have another light next to it. That light is going to be over here. It would also have two feet uh, where it would cover that 70 foot candles. I put the two of them together. They're four feet apart from each other. So a couple things to say about these things. One is foot candles. Uh, foot candles is uh, sort of the most useful term that we kind of run into on these. Lumens is the amount of light leaving a light fixture, but the average architect really doesn't care about that. A light designer cares about it. Uh, a product designer cares about it. But the architects, yeah, you don't really care about lumens. What you care about is how much light hits the work plane. That's the only thing you really care about. So if I take that same light fixture and I put it up 15 feet higher, I'm going to have even though it has the same number of lumens coming out of it, uh, I'm going to have way fewer foot candles on the desk. So foot candles are lumens per uh, square foot of area. So that's one thing to say. Uh, the, the other one is really the, the, that kind of idea of the work plane. So in this case, it's two feet over, but that actually means four feet to where the, the next light would start. This is something you'll have to do on the vignette. 
So it's, you're going to get used to it. If you were actually doing a real, uh, real calculation, you'd be thinking about the color of the wall. You'd be thinking about the color of the ceiling. You'd be thinking about how often the light bulbs are replaced. You'd be thinking about whole series of other issues. There's a great uh, set of examples shown in the Meeb book called the um, Zonal Cavity Method. Um, that kind of goes through all of the different issues. I wouldn't worry about trying to do the zonal cavity method because it's kind of a big, long process, but you can see all the different parts that fit into it. That's when you do one of those ones, uh, like an online calculator, or you do something with, uh, you know, Rhino or SketchUp or something, it's actually doing that system. Um, and so you kind of, you can start to understand what your programs are doing for you by looking at, at that example. Today's ARE Live episode is an extension of our online ARE curriculum that you can find on blackspectacles.com, the home of online learning for architecture and design. If you need to prepare for the ARE, which I assume many of you guys do, and if you're looking for a good way to study for the exam that's more flexible and easier to digest than the traditional exam prep materials, then head over to blackspectacles.com to try out any of our free ARE video tutorials that are taught by tonight's presenter, Mike Newman. As an attendee, and as you can see here on the screen here, we have a couple of notes or information for today's episode. Any Anyone who is attending today's session, you're eligible to use this coupon code worth 15% off the first charge on your individual membership. If you're one of those folks who would like for your firm to purchase Black Spectacles access for you and your colleagues, just visit blackspectacles.com business, which is this fourth link here, and we'll send all the information for your firm to get set up. And also from now until the 15th of next month, firm memberships are 15% off if you mention this episode when you submit your form through blackspectacles.com business. Also on this, you'll see that our next webinar will be on May 27th with Mike at six o'clock. So if you'd like to register for it, here's the registration link. We're still firming up the details and the actual topic. So if you have any suggestions and would like Mike to cover a specific topic or would like us to interview someone in particular about a specific topic, please let us know. 